Okay, we're back. And in this case, what we're going to do is run our first of the optimized hotspot analysis options. And in this case, what we are interested in is whether or not any of the given enumeration units, that is our small sheds, would show uh, a hotspot that is a clustering apart from the randomness. And remember that when we do hotspot analysis, the null hypothesis, and we're always going to work from that, is complete spatial randomness. In other words, we're testing against that idea that the features that we're looking at are in fact not completely spatially random. And again, what we're going to be using is a z-score and a confidence interval or a, uh, a confidence level, and that's our p. So z-scores are how many effectively how many standard deviations away from the mean, and our confidence level is going to be our p-value. So again, let's go through this. Uh, our inputs, well, those are in fact our points, our combined oil and gas wells. And it will take a minute to grab that. And then our output from this, and again, I'm going to change this to my desktop, our output is going to be, because it's going to be an enumeration unit, what we are interested in is our hotspot, that's what I'm going to call it, hotspot, enumeration. Okay. So again, that's our output. Now, what I'm interested in here, remember, no analysis field because they don't have any magnitudes to them. And in our, my first instance, I want to aggregate to polygons. And so our polygons are going to be our overall study area, and that is the small sheds. It's right here. So again, those are the enumeration values. Now, that's all I really need to tell it. And what I want you to see is what happens in our output. So I'm going to click OK. And it will run. And what we will get out is, in fact, a ordered feature class using those enumeration units. The count of events has been analyzed. And in fact, what the results will tell us is whether or not any of the polygons based on the counts depart significantly from that which would be expected by complete spatial randomness, or often what we call CSR. There we go. And so what you'll notice here is that we have, in this case, one instance down here at the bottom where it is, in fact, a hot spot with a 95% confidence limit or confidence interval. And here we have a hotspot with only a 90% confidence limit. And again, remember that what those mean is that in this case we would be, in most cases, again, 95% means only 5% that we're not confident, if you will. And that means in one of 20 situations we're going to call it a hotspot when it really isn't. Here we're going to call it a hotspot when it really isn't one in 10 times. Okay, that's really what our confidence intervals mean. Okay, so that's the first one. Again, this is hotspot by enumeration. And in the next video, we will return and we'll do this again, but we're going to do it with the fishnet.